There's this place in Massachusetts called Cape Cod. I always wanted to take this girl there. And one fourth of July, I finally did. And she loved it. There were a lot of beaches. And every house had hydrangeas and an American flag. She'd been wanting to go to this coffee shop called Nirvana for years. And I finally got to take her. And now it's her favorite coffee. We sat on this bench with our coffee and we waited for the parade. I've never seen anything like it. They threw candy into the streets for the kids. There was a big fire truck. And we got to hear bagpipes for the first time. She liked the dog parade. I liked the lobster float. But the best part of the parade was this. These old guys drove around their American muscle cars. And they had their grandkids in the back waving around their American flags. And I was amazed by it. I always figured they looked like Wall Street guys. And they gave me something to work towards. We walked around the neighborhood after the parade. And I saw this kid playing on a tire swing. He was chasing his sister and they were laughing. They looked happy. I realized that was my first time seeing a tire swing in real life. And it made me wonder what it must have felt like to grow up here. After the walk, we went to a beach in Chatham. I remember walking to the water and putting my feet in. The water was freezing, but I liked it. And I turned to my left and I saw a house on a cliff. And it seemed somewhat attainable. But a part of me wanted a house like that someday. And after that day, I decided that I would get one. Even if it wasn't attainable. I remember going to this art gallery afterwards, and I saw this guy walk in. He had just bought a house on the Cape, and he was looking for a painting to hang over his fireplace. And it amazed me, because he made it to where I wanted to be. So that same day, I bought a painting from the gallery, and I decided that I wouldn't hang it up until we got a house here too. Afterwards, I took it to dinner at this place called Manakee's Wharf. We always get lobster rolls when we come. It's our tradition now. I want to bring it back next year, and the year after. Until we get old. I want to tell my kids stories about how we first came here when we were young. And about how we decided we'd have a life here someday. Until then, I'm putting my money in the stock market. So that one day, I'll get to drive a classic car in the parade. Just like those Wall Street guys. I'll get us a house with blue hydrangeas. And I'll hang that painting over our fireplace. And we'll plant a tree that's big enough for a tire swing. And every 4th of July, I'll sit on the porch and I'll think back to this day. The day I had my American dream. <laughs>